differences between men and women, just for the sake of argument. The biggest differences seem to be in interest, by the way. And so what's going to happen is that if we let men and women sort themselves out, there aren't going to be very many female engineers and tech types, and there's going to be a lot of female nurses. There's not going to be many male nurses and healthcare types. There's not going to be very many male elementary school teachers. But is this it's a like, bad thing? Well, that's the question. Who knows? Do we know? I don't know. Well, the idea of <clears throat> having an equal society where gender inequality is completely knocked down, gender pay gap is, d is non-existent. Yeah, well, that's a problem because that's a measure. equality well, of outcome. Well, it's also, it's, yeah, the equality of outcome thing is a non-starter. Well, whether, whether it's okay, with, like if men and women sort themselves into different occupations, which looks highly probable, I don't know if that's okay. And, and then it's also well, like, okay, compared to, to what alternative? Right. Like, should every elementary school teacher be female? Should every psychologist be female? Because that's what's happening. And the answer to that is, well, I don't know. But, but there's another answer, which is, well, what do you propose as an alternative to free choice that isn't going to cause more trouble than free choice? Because I would say, well, okay, let's say I'm a feminist for the sake of argument. All right, so I think, well, there are differences between men and women. There are actual differences. And so some of those are biological. Some of them are, are, are strategic in some sense because women pay a bigger price for reproduction and so that's going to lead them to make different choices. That's just rational based on, bio it's rationality based on biological differences. So it's like a second order biological difference. There's differences in temperament and interest. They're going, it's going to lead them to make different choices. Is that a pro-feminist stance or an anti-feminist stance? It's only anti-feminist if you assume everyone has to be exactly the same and the outcomes have to be exactly the same. If, the, if, if your goal is, no, leave people the hell alone as much as possible, let them make their own informed and free choices, then you let the differences manifest themselves in the world and you take your, you take your knocks because of that. The problem with that is this narrative of equality. The equality of outcomes.